I just feel super nervous being this close to his car. But. This is pretty crazy, even for us. But you know what? We get it done. This proves the Lamborghini is good for this more than just driving around and doing donuts. You can actually tow cars with it. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Oh, hey, look, I got an F-Pace. It's actually just a loaner from Land Rover. Unfortunately, the Range Rover Sport had a few more hiccups. So they've once again taken it and given us this to drive in the meantime. And then we've got, of course, the Huracan. Left the Huracan outside. We gotta put some heat in the engine and go and save Dave. Dave's Mercedes broke down. I thought AMG motors were reliable. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. As you can see, the car's just gotten to its temp. No longer limits me with the RPM range, so why don't we hit the road? It takes about eight to 10 minutes, by the way, to warm this car up fully to the full RPM. All right, guys, we gotta take a left here, take a right down here onto the highway. We gotta get this car out of, uh, out of the screen we're in. We need some Aventador mode. Let's see here. There we go. Just passing Mill Bay. Just pulling into Duncan. passing Chevanus. This is where I made a video doing like donuts and drifting my old Lamborghini right in this lot here to our right. This is a very Canadian place called Tim Hortons. We've arrived. Dave's in here. Let's go meet up with him. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Is this your new office? Yeah, you like it? Oh yeah, man. How's it going? Is it good? Spacious. Lots of room for activities and you know. I thought you owned like a, a one of those reliable. German automobiles, a Mercedes Benz. I went and leased a brand new Mercedes Benz 27 years ago. And anyway, <laughs> you said 27 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> what and year is your car? 95. It's an AMG, right? Hand built motor? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bought this car to commute in because it's cheap on fuel and all that, but as you know, it broke down on the way at like 6 30 in the morning in the pouring rain it broke down once it shut off when I was driving I was driving all of a sudden like the gas pedal wasn't working <laughs> so I pulled over and then I started it started it again so I thought that's probably nothing because why would it not start and I uh, started driving more and then it shut down for good so we're gonna try to fix it ourselves yeah we are I have some ideas okay, so I figured out based on you know Google the uh, mass airflow sensor or the camshaft position sensor I called a local company here in town an auto parts store I won't say who they are and for the two parts is eight hundred dollars. Online, shipped, hundred and thirty dollars. Hundred what? One hundred thirty-four dollars. No. So it's like, hey, support so we're local. Not getting that shit. How do you do that when it's like five times the price, eight times the price? So we're gonna go to the car and see if it has an OBD2 port. Yeah. Car guys know what that means. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, we're gonna see if it has a, a port so we can scan it. All right. We're gonna tow it to my house. Are we? I'm gonna tear it apart. You and I, I can get his hands dirty. <laughs> Done my Jimmy's coffee, you're all ready? Let's go. Let's uh, go fix this car. Let's go fix an AMG. Where'd you park? So just go. Oh, uh, sorry, where, where did the car fail? Where did the car park itself? Self parking. Self parking. Ah, uh, just down here. It's the new self driving car. It's like, I, I just want to park right here. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs>
back end kick out there. Oh yeah. I think it's wet out and slippery and we had 800 horsepower or something weird. There it is. Oh, here, hold on. Okay, let's go see what we can do with this thing. We're, we're looking for an OBD2 port, right? Yeah, so this car is a 95, so you car guys will know that pre-96, they didn't have a required OBD2 port. However, apparently AMG was awesome and they added one <laughs> when they didn't have to. And that's what I heard on the internet. Let's go look. On AMG form. It must be real. It must be real. <laughs> Try not to get run over here. Where's, where's your AMG badges? Sleeper, I, ba I debadged it. Oh, sleeper. Oh yeah. Is there? Yes. Oh, yes. Hold on, hold on. Put some light on it. Can I see it? Yeah, so it's right underneath here. Right there, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. That is it. That's a lifesaver. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go pick up an OBD2 reader. Yeah, so the idea behind that is rather than just throwing parts at the car, you have an educated guess. When I was younger, I would just buy parts. I think it's probably this. By the part, no luck. So now we can scan it. It, is, a, it is an AMG. Parts are probably really expensive. <sighs> yeah. Maybe back ordered from Germany. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Canadian Tire. If you're not Canadian, it's like uh, be like a Home Depot, just a smaller yeah, version. Yeah, no building supplies. It's actually quite unique. Yeah. Anyhow, it's called Canadian yeah. Tire. We'll show you when we go in. We're gonna get. What are we getting here? The we OBD2 need a scanner, reader. and we need um, some other goodies for the car and for the. Oh yeah. We got a plan to get the car we back got to plan my to get, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. not good. So we're gonna use the Lamborghini to tow the AMG. Yeah, that's the most logical thing to do. Okay. So we're at we're at the station that sells towing accessories. Accessories. We need a strap. What uh I just like this one because it's got camo and you know that's, that's important. Le that's legit. What about just bright this. yellow? Let's just get one. Let's get one of these. Bright yellow. Okay. What's it? Seventy-five hundred pounds. AMG weighs ten thousand. <laughs> so when you're looking for something like this. That's like the second thing I've ran into. Yeah, but something strong can tow a car. Yeah, yeah that might that not work for towing a car. Uh, we've got the smaller one, like, like these here. I'm yeah. assuming this is what you're, similar yes. to what you're talking about. We would just need a really okay. thick one that could uh, hold yeah. the strap. Max, it's 700 pounds. That yeah, might not work. work. So fun fact, in Canada, we're not allowed guns. This is the closest thing you're gonna see a Canadian carry to a gun. However, we are allowed bows and arrows. So when you're Canadian, you have to, from a young age, learn how to arm yourself properly. Dave. Can you please demonstrate what it's like to carry a, a bow and arrow oh, it's setup? Actually, it's actually really convenient. It's really low, low key. It's my concealed carry, or yeah. open carry, sorry. Yeah, open carry here in Canada. Um, and then this is your selection from, you know, starter bows all the way up to more advanced. <clears throat> Real lethal stuff, really lethal stuff. Never mess with a Canadian. An incident, it's actually really fast to like, access your bow. First thing I do is unclip the 17 brackets. Hold yeah. on. Something's happening right now. I'm gonna intervene. I'm a Canadian citizen. I wanna protect my people. Hold on. Hold on. That was well, quick. If, if the bow was there, then you'd be able to do yeah. your stretches, yeah. get ready, and then you could protect your family. Ready to go? These are some of the more high-end uh, arrows. If you really want to do some damage, you don't even put a tip on them. This is blunt force trauma right there. <coughs> Got it in too. Got our supplies? Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, I'm excited. All right. and then just show your receipt as you leave the store. Dude, just try to run through and I'll be behind you with the receipt, see if they tackle you. Possible. Actually, here, let me put a bit of that in. I can't put too much in, but yeah. Guys, we got seat covers for the uh, the Lambo. Built, not bought, DIY, we're gonna do it ourselves. Yeah, do, DIY seat covers for the Lambo. Super, oh, here's the super convenient. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, it's blowing. The wind's blowing it, bro. Make up for it. Just from what? 
Digi camo seat covers. You can see it's got the lower half of the seat and then this is the back. Pretty simple install here. Like that. Next step, let's fold this piece up and over the front. That's amazing. Boom. Okay guys, we're back. Uh, we got what we needed here at Lordco. Let me show you what it was. Safety first. Now it's official. Tow truck driver. Tow truck driver Lamborghini. We are gonna tow the AMG with the Lambo. <laughs> Lambo to the rescue. <laughs> well, I think we got everything we need. We got a, a tow hook. We've got- Shackle? Yeah, whatever, that, that's what I call the tow hook. We hope this car is a tow hook or we're gonna have to attach it to the front bumper. Oh yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So Dave decided since this car is out of commission, we're gonna buy a new Mercedes. No. So we're just pulling up to the dealership. You see what they have? No. They got an AMG GT and a G-Wagon. So freaking wet out. Dude, they have a car under a cover. Let's pull the cover off and be like, dude, my new car. Dude, they got it. AMG GT Roadster. That's cool. Sir. Dude, this one is sick. Oh, those seats look comfy. This is the new E63S. Hey, Parker, let's match. I like this thing. I'm not so sure about the mustard color, though. What do you guys think? Oh, the seats are gorgeous. Dude, G-Wagon. Pretty nice. Yeah. Get on fuel for the commute, probably. Why don't you, why don't you get that? This would be a good one for you. Yeah, but here's the thing, I already have an SUV. Oh, I'll get rid yeah. of that and buy this. Yeah, fair enough. You a fan of the GT? Or not really. GTS? No. You're not? Not really. Why not? It's cool, but I just, it's, I don't know. It's GTR under here, it's black. I dare you to just pull the cover off. We'll film it and then we'll leave. Then no, I know these guys. <laughs> but Sorry, Matt, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I just discovered my favorite thing of this car. What's up? The fake carbon fiber dash interior in this thing. Oh. $136,000 AMG, and they put fake carbon fiber in it. They put fake carbon fiber trim in this beautiful car. Why would you do that? I don't understand. Here's, here's the question for you guys. So right now I've got obviously that old Mercedes that is commuting. I've got an M3 at home, got the Escalade. Wife drives the Escalade. I want something that's like DDE. It's been 117,000 on the E63S. 136. 136. So it's been 136. Or you can get, or, or you can get a AMG GT for no. 160. Is that what it was? Why don't we just? Why don't instead of? Because you're not going to make a rash decision. Well, my car broke down. I need so, a car. So vote. People can vote in the comments below. Here's, here's the vote. What should Dave get? What? Well, I think there should be three options. To be honest, E63S to beat Parker before he gets his. Yeah. Um, the GTS yeah. or spend an extra 50 grand and get a supercar like R8 V10. All right, guys. So comment below. Should Dave get the AMG GTS? Or should you get an R8? Or should he get a, a sedan like the E63S before Parker? Oh, that's pretty tempting. And you know what though, Parker? It's right there. So we're not we're not getting a car right now. I don't know. I mean, yeah, we should wait, we should wait. Well why don't we the get the last time I was here with him, if you guys watched the video from a year ago, I bought the Escalade. Yeah. Here. Why don't we why don't we go and get this tow out of the way then? Because the, the rain's not letting up. I think I think my warranty's expired. <laughs> Yeah, I think your warranty on a 95 car is expired too. You want to check that service quickly? <laughs> you can go ask. <laughs> All right, we're back in the Lambo. We're leaving Mercedes. Dave's gonna wait for you guys to comment below. What should he get? An AMG GTS, an Audi R8, or should he just trade in the, the Escalade and get a G-Wagon? Or do you want that E-Class? I have an E-Class. E63S, yeah. like Parker's car. But before him. He's getting his car delivered from Europe in two weeks. You get two weeks to figure it out. So we'll see what the comments say tomorrow. Now we're gonna take the Lambo and we're gonna go and tow his AMG. His 1995 C220 AMG. AMG hand-built. Hand-built, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back at the Mercedes. Get the hazards here quickly. We're gonna have to pull in front. Okay, so I gotta find a tow hook right away. Oh, well, first of all, I'm gonna need to back it up. So we're gonna tow the Mercedes with the Lambo. Oh yeah. No 
I'll loop it through. There, hold on. All right, Jay. All right, loop it up. You gotta do this. We'll loop it up. And then where's this going? I don't know. The tow hook there. Oh, oh, oh. You got it? <laughs> oh, shit. You're doing good. There we go. Dude, you're good at this. You are a professional. Yeah. I dated you for about one second, and I regret that. Oh my god, this is so legit. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the worst that can happen? Nothing. Only good things can happen with this. Okay. Put it in neutral? Yeah. Neutral? neutral? Good. Yeah, dude, thank you. All right, we'll get it down the road. All right. Dude, this is this is good. So we're being safe. I got my high res jacket on. We got the light. Got my hazards on. Hey guys, turn the Lambo into a tow truck. Let's do this. Okay, you can film from here. I'm gonna drive because I want to make sure that I'm doing not everything I yeah, can. We got this. All right. You can uh, throw your windshield out the window a bit. Yeah. Damon's gonna tow us. Now the problem is that my brakes don't really work right now, so no problem. The lights on the roof. We're safe. But it's working. We're moving. Come on. Can you see that? <laughs> He's got the light on the roof. Yeah, I'd say we're good. I'd say um, if we go slow, we'll make it home. Uh, I'm probably about half an hour away from here, which is a problem. But yeah, we'll get there. You'll notice I'm still touching the brake. I just feel super nervous being this close to his car. But. This is pretty crazy, even for us. But you know what? We get it done. And this proves the Lamborghini is good for this more than just driving around and doing donuts. You can actually tow cars with it. Okay, we're going a bit faster now. I think we're getting more comfortable with it. You'll notice I'm in neutral. Steering lock is off. Uh, now, here's a challenge. We gotta turn around up here. So we're gonna wait for a clearing. And I think that's a cop. Hold on. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tow truck. What are you just doing? Wade's car broke down. Well, you know what? I'll be your, I'll be you guys' favorite. Yeah. I love your YouTube channel. Oh no I way! I watch it every day. No way! I'll you guys Dude, out. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dave. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys. Kyle. Yeah. Kyle's gonna tow me for free because he thinks this is probably a little bit unsafe. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> my car, my camera's covered in rain. You sick? No problem. This is hilarious. All right, let it. Let me unhook. Look what we did. working it would have been a slow go the thing is i was like we have to turn around up here so that was going to be the challenging part 
One big U turn. All right, let's unhook this thing. I'll back up a bit. Going right there. What's that? That is some redneck going right there. Dude, you want to see redneck? Check this out. Perfect. I can't, I can't see none. Camo seat covers. I don't see no seats. No seats. <laughs> That's that was awesome. amazing. I thought it was a cop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the cops are here. What, like, what like, was what his name? Doing? Kyle. Kyle. Like, what are you guys I doing? I to thank him. <laughs> yeah, he was like, what the hell? What did he say? He said he, he said he drove by, noticed the car, not your car, the Lambo, and then turned around, drove back down the highway because there's this barrier, drove back down, turned back around, and pulled in front of us to help us out. Amazing. This looks a little more appropriate. Bro, you want my jacket? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's used to it. Wow. Oh, he's got the official light too. Oh. Did you like our light we bought for the roof? Funny. Did you like my yellow light we bought for the oh, roof? That's pretty funny. So, we could have done it. It would take probably an hour. Oh yeah. It was a half hour drive. Would have taken longer. We weren't going very fast. That's staying in there. That's part of the car now. You want that? Yes, I want that. Okay. Look at it. That is amazing. It's funny, I was just watching a video about how your uh, daughter brought your boyfriend in the other day. Oh, my daughter's <laughs> boyfriend video. All right, guys, Dave's gonna take the car and head back to Nanaimo. I'm gonna go back to Victoria. I have about an hour and a bit drive. Hey, thank you to Kyle. <laughs> Subscribers saving the day. Dave, stop breaking down. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Smash the subscribe button. I'll see you next episode. So Kyle, Kyle had one request as being a subscriber for helping us out. He just wanted to go for a ride in the Lambo. Yeah. So we're gonna take him for a quick boot. Ever been in a Lambo? First time? Never? Never. Oh, cool, bro. Mm -hmm. People are all in the other lane. <laughs> That's awesome. Shout out to the outro squad. We got a few options now while you're here. Definitely smash the subscribe button over to your left and turn on the notification bell so you know when we drop our latest upload. Check out our merchandise on our store at dailydrivenexotics.com. Go and browse the other videos in the archived playlist or just click on the next suggested video right here and you guys keep watching my pretty face.